yep. also <laughs> the Nintendo Direct, um, yes. which we're going to talk more about that, Steve. There was a lot of announcements, some sad disappointments that we didn't get certain news that we wanted. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, go, in, go into detail. Steve. Sure. Yeah. 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 A lot of great news, a lot of eh, news, uh, but yeah. So last week, uh, Nintendo announced and uh, and premiered a 50 minute direct, the first in a year and a half. Like the last one was September 2019. So everyone was 38 days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. wild, absolutely wild. Um, yeah, so everyone's Jesus. anticipation and enthusiasm were through the roof. Obviously, people's expectations needed to be put in check. Nintendo tried to do their best, but Nintendo fans are going to Nintendo fan and putting Nintendo you know. fans hype in check that doesn't uh, happen. No, oh, never. <laughs> it was but, a weird. It was weird too because, of course, they announced this direct like the day before or two days. But I think of this one, it, it was, was the like day two before. days before. Yeah. The day before, yeah. Um, and it was weird because they were trying to do that control and they're like, mm -hmm. this will cover games that were, and it was like this long sentence. I'm like trying to decipher. I'm like, okay, does this mean we're going to get Breath of the Wild news? What right. does this mean? Yeah. Steve, what did it mean? <laughs> uh, n short story, no, we, we didn't get any of that news. Uh, yeah, I know. Unfortunately. <laughs> so but, small update. They yeah, did say that, update, you, know, you know, it's coming. <laughs> they're working on it and yeah it. and that's it and then yeah so a, a couple of highlights i just want to go over if you guys have any other ones you want to throw in there please feel free to but yeah we got uh, an update on smash uh pyra and mithra from xenoblaze is coming in march which is cool for some people yeah. not for me personally but i'm just one person <laughs> out there uh, <laughs> mario golf super rush so excited for this game uh it's been a long time since we've had a Mar mario golf game on a console that's coming out june 25th sweet uh, awesome uh, i love the uh, the sports centric mario games uh yeah so nintendo kind of delivered you know that uh, that that bad news sandwich where they're like here's here's zelda and then we're all like yes 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 and then they said no breath of the wild two news today and we were like oh and then they they announced that Skyward Sword HD is coming July sixteenth. I know Camille, you're very excited. Oh, we can't hear. You. Oh, I think I think Camille, we lost Camille. you. No! <laughs> no! Oh, here you go. Okay. <laughs> no, but we talked about this before. How yeah. we've been like Skyward Sword. I feel like it didn't get the attention that it no, deserved because it of the controls with that game. Exactly. Um, which we controls. kind of addressed within yes. this direct. Um, so I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to play uh, it on my Switch and force my friends to play as well. Same, same. Yeah, I was worried. I don't know about you, Camille, but I was very worried for a long time because they kept talking about, oh, th these are the controls that we introduced with the Wii, the the motion controls, and they went on for so long. I was like, oh no, oh this is <laughs> oh, bad. No, they're like, back. <laughs> they're putting so much focus on this. Are they sack. actually just going to keep it? But then no, they, they talked <laughs> about that they were gonna uh, kind of reintroduce or introduce um, an alternative where instead of using the the Joy Cons as as your sword and shield, you can actually use the right thumbstick as the directional uh, for slicing and and all that. Which I guess if we're because looking at Skyward... exactly yeah, because Skyward Sword, I just want to go into that. Skyward Sword when you're facing off enemies, the direction you swing your hand yes. depends on which type of enemy you're facing so yeah, like yeah. if you're going horizontally that may work for this enemy but not the next one right and yeah just uh, without reworking the entire game they had to keep somewhat of a of that mechanic in there which i guess if you're keeping it to the right thumbstick that's fine enough um but yeah it's coming out july 16th i was kind of on it was kind of unfortunate that they didn't announce you know more 3d zelda games considering this was the 35th anniversary of legend of zelda but I have heard like through the grapevine that more are on the way, but whether or not they're packaged in, you know, a collection kind of like 3D All Stars was for Mario, it's yet to be seen. But we're getting some, you know, Legend of Zelda Joy Cons. That's cool, right? Whoa, right? whoa the, don't <laughs> knock those Joy Cons. I want them so bad. <laughs> I cannot wait uh, to get my hands on those Joy Cons, and I'm hoping, you know, we do get. I don't think we'll get a package of like um yeah. you know zelda games that we want to explore but maybe they'll just release a bunch of them right. i hope you know obviously ocarina of time twilight princess 
oh, such good games yeah, need to be in that. So, good. Um, so yeah. I'm hoping that we do get that news because, yes, yesterday was the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. So happy 35th anniversary, Link, yeah. Zelda, and the whole crew in Hyrule. The only thing that's keeping me hopeful that they do <laughs> bundle it in a collection is the fact that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess were already given the HD treatment. It's so it's that's not, true. again, I'm not a developer, so what do I know? But I don't think that is that much work <laughs> to to bring it over to the Switch. And it I don't know. Be, you know. Right? Like, they don't have to retool it like they did with Skyward Sword. Like, yeah. From what I've heard and, like, read, but... What Nintendo did, they they did the Twilight Princess HD remake. I can't remember the year it came out, but it's been quite some time. And then right after that, they started working on this this HD uh, game for Skyward Sword. So it's been a lot of work to kind of modernize those controls and provide players an alternative. So yeah. I, I understand why they want to push this and put it uh, put a full price tag on it. But the other games, I feel like, can just be thrown into a collection just for the sake of, of players, right? Yeah. Do you feel yeah. like they kind of shot themselves in the foot with Skyward Sword? Because now it seems like, crap, instead of focusing on Breath of the Wild 2, we got to go back and make this accessible so that people don't want to play it. Right. I think hindsight, yes, definitely. They're like, man, this is harder to port over. However, I do think the mechanics, um, although people did complain about needing to, you know, the whole Wii thing, um, I, I thought it was a really cool way to look at combat um, to make combat a bit different easier ways to do yeah. that <laughs> um, right. but I, I do feel like it was a really i had fun with it um so yeah uh, i'll leave it at that <laughs> were there were there other not uh you know zelda news that was really grabbing your attention from this direct i feel like there's a big uh, yeah one. so the, they ended with a uh surprise announcement for splatoon 3 splatoon 3 yeah i'm excited for that i'm excited yeah. for that because my brother was like Yo, like he has my Switch right now, and he was really mm -hmm. like, "Should we get Splatoon 2? And I like, I remember really enjoying Splatoon, and I played it, and it so and and fun. I and, and yeah. I remember talking to him. I was like, "They're probably gonna make a new one soon. Like, if you really right. want to play it, like, get it. But like, there's probably gonna be a new one coming. And then, lo and behold, Nintendo Direct comes out, and we got a new one coming up. And I mean, I'm excited for it. I don't know yeah. what everyone else's excitement levels are like, but I'm looking forward to it customizations mm -hmm. that little cute creature that was uh next to the character as also, well i i didn't actually play splatoon 2 but splatoon 1 was really fun so i think this is the chance to jump also splatoon esports is kind of fun to watch oh <laughs> like, absolutely kind of super hype so i would yeah. be excited to see a little more of that I've never been too invested in it from from being a player, but it, it was so funny because when they announced this, I was like, it hasn't been that long since Splatoon 2. Like, why are they doing this so mm. quickly? And then I look back, it was it's five years since Splatoon 2 yeah. came out. Yeah. But Holy it's the fact that wow. Nintendo just keeps supporting it as like a prominent like esports and competitive title that that is all over the place. Like they just keep talking about Splatoon 2. So that's why it felt so recent to me. Am I um, old? <laughs> <laughs> are we all old i don't know what is, uh, what is happening <laughs> yeah i didn't realize it's been five years oh my god five years. it's been a really long yeah. time uh um, we were all playing that on the wii u um <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah it's been a that's, while that's a um, steve this was there anything my mind. else <laughs> the uh, direct that you want to highlight before we get into individuals like uh impressions of the direct uh, not not really. I just want to kind of gloss over a few, like Fall Guys coming to Switch, and then they subsequently announced that it's coming to Xbox as well later this year, uh, which yep. is great. More more players can jump into that. Um, I, I do want to point out one game. Uh, Outer Wilds is one of the, like my favorite games out there. It was my game of the year for 2019. N not a lot of people played it. Go play it, especially now that it's on Switch. Awesome game. Um, but no, uh, if there's any other you're games missing, that you guys... You're, you're missing a really big one, okay? I, I brought up... Don't yes. I brought up... Okay, yes. But also, I brought up <laughs> a few weeks ago that I had a real concern over my knees. I don't know. I don't know what oh. happened to my knees, okay? Now, you're getting Metopia, everybody. Metopia. Free the me. Free the me. Free the me. All right, I gotta go. Uh, I'll see you. Spreading the word. The me's are back. Honestly, though, I feel like this is going to be one of the things that we all kind of secretly enjoy to play. 
Um, I hope like so. No, no, I, I'm totally with you. I really hope so. The uh, the concept of it seems unique enough. It, it's straight Nintendo, like it's straight Nintendo, like big brain announcement announcing this. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited for it. It uh, embarrassingly uh, slipped my mind though. But free the me 20, 2021, That's the campaign. We're getting it. Is there? It's their is there year. Online platform functional yet or? No. No, <laughs> Nintendo's still needs- struggling with the online. <laughs> yeah, online needs work. I think what it is is you know Nintendo is very protective in terms of their community, make sure, especially because they have a young community. Um, they want to make sure that everyone feels welcome to play. Controlling that toxicity, I feel like that is the main hurdle with um, Nintendo and like making it optimized for online play. Um, is they have to kind of release kind of that um, hold that they have to make sure that everyone is feeling welcome and not bullied on their platforms, right? right. Um, so I feel like that's something that's going to continue to be an opportunity for improvement. Um, we'll see when I'm in Metopia what that really means. Also, I want to say Animal Crossing as well. They got an, yes. They're getting an update to include a lot of Mario things. Mm-hmm. Right, Steve? Uh, I, yeah. I, sorry. I just want to go back to Metopia for a moment because... I, I we're we're all we were all on the same page that like this was a multiplayer game that you get to play with your friends uh, and their me's and everything, right? Uh, that's kind of where we were going with this, you know. Yeah, yeah. is it not? Yeah. No. What? <gasps> <gasps> what? Wait, wait, My what is it? Alone? Yeah, I I just like because I was so curious. I was like, what what's going to be like the 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 cap limit on like parties and stuff? It's a one player game, like it's single that's, player. That's dark. You gotta make your friends in it. You gotta make your friend. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. I, I'm it's reading like, through it. Kind of sad. I like it. Yeah, because they talked about like, oh, uh, the the evil villain of the, you can put your friend's face on. I was like, oh, like I've got you know a couple of friends I'd like to to meme on and and put their face on that. No, it's a single player game, so you're just kind of chilling with your memes by yourself. Oh my it's god. pretty much Sims, but with the memes. I mean, That's I'm weird. not. I'm not hating on it. That... Uh, it's interesting though. I, maybe oh it'll have an online component where we could share, like kind of like Animal Crossing, go into each other's worlds. Um, but yeah, I thought it was multiplayer as well. It's funny that we all thought that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, to say me world. I, I it's just me at that point. Like, <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they meant. It's me world, my world. Um, oh, fair enough. We, we <laughs> just all read it wrong. We misunderstood. It, it's me, yeah. myself, and my me. Yeah, me, myself, and me. Um, yeah. As well as, I was excited for the Ninja Gaiden. Um, mm. I'm excited for that. Was, yeah. I am yeah. looking forward to Ninja, that. Ninja Gaiden, I feel like it, it. it's a long time since I've revisited the franchise, so this will mm-hmm. be great. Fall Guys, I feel like it was an immediate, like, this makes sense. Right. Well, guys, I've wanted to play um, with my friends, but how my console set up and everything, it's like I have to just like sit down. Now I could just grab my Switch and I could lay anywhere in my house or like just chill out on the couch and just play. I'm excited about that. How about uh, you, Malik? Anything from this direct that we didn't mention that like really stands out? Nothing that really stands out. I was disappointed that we got uh, Mario Golf instead of Mario Strikers. I mm-hmm. I am such a huge fan of strikers and also too with football or soccer being one of the most popular sports in the world if not the most popular sport you think that they could reach a larger audience also strikers was just so gritty you could have bowser luigi kicking mario in the shins like strikers was just such a cool game but i am excited to see what they do with like their golf game because for me mario is a franchise where it's just so familiar no matter what genre Mm -hmm. they do it's just mario you just have fun with your friends and you know do some sort of act activity and so like like you said it making the sports world of mario bigger is just going to kind of be cool for everyone in general yeah i feel like golf was like the one of the first sports games for uh, mario and his friends everyone loves a good golf course so maybe yeah. that's why it got the pick before strikers sorry malik <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a min- I'm minority when it comes to liking Strikers. Strikers was kind of not a lot of people played it or liked it. It feels like. Well, I I mean we talked about it a couple episodes ago, but like Nintendo acquired next level games, so maybe that 
that is their plan to eventually task them with doing a new Mario Strikers. But for the time being, like they're just leaving that that for that series alone because they want you know that developer to work on it. And now that it's under their umbrella, yeah, they could. Yeah. Yeah. Mario, um, Kubis, go, how about you? Yeah. Anything? Mario Golf for me, because I, I, I love Mario Tennis, and mm. that, that was like one of the first things I got when I got my Switch, and I really loved it. So I'm down for another like Mario sports game, uh, and then Ninja Gaiden as well. I'm looking forward to that Master Collection. I want to play it. Yeah. Um, and Splatoon three, I don't know, kind of, kind of got me excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping this Splatoon, like it looks so cool, a little dark. Well, you know, I, I, I'm hoping this is the Splatoon that will bring me back to the franchise and have me playing because it is so, it's so much fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Um, there was also, you know, Tales from the Borderlands. I know, right. Caboose, you mentioned before that you were, you were coming playing back. that. That's coming to the Switch yes. as well. Um, which, which highly cool, recommend if anybody likes Telltale games and if you have even just the tiniest bit of interest in Tales from the Borderlands, Play it. I could not recommend it's it so enough. Good. It is one of my favorite of Borderlands. It, yeah, it is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm not even kidding. It is so so good. Mm -hmm. it, um, uh, yeah, Star because it brings a lot of. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, no. Continue, Malik. I was just gonna say, like Tales from the Borderland, amongst the the fart jokes and the 2006 <laughs> humor, it has so much charm and so much soul. Uh, and it's clever. Especially. Yeah, it's very clever. Finger guns. Yes. Yes. yes, finger guns. Yeah. Um, Star Wars Hunters. What do you guys feel about that? Nah, oh, no, nah. I'm, no, I'm not about it. I, I, <laughs> I'm indifferent. I was, I was, I was kind of uh, curious about it, but then I found out that uh, the developer Zynga is also bringing it to iOS and Android, and I can tell exactly what this game is uh, going to be. Yeah, okay. I'm not about it. So it's yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Not the games have that's, that's had a kind of really hard, hard time. Hopefully, they're mm -hmm. gonna have a better time soon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got Ubisoft making it, an open world one, so especially as they release um, with all the you know Star Wars content <laughs> alongside all the Star Wars content on Disney Plus, I'm pretty sure they'll be just fine. Um, I do want to talk about what are we hoping, or Steve, maybe you could give us insight or what you think of when we'll see another direct. Or what you think we'll see announced next? <laughs> I always like now. just guessing. <laughs> Two years from now, that, that that's quite possible. I, I I think what they did with this direct is set up a good foundation to do exactly what they said is give us an insight into what's coming for the first part of the year. Right now, they have like a first party high hitting title from like March all the way until August. So I I think that they could do something around E three if they wanted to, or do something you know around September and just kind of wrap up twenty twenty one that way, or they could just go silent for another year and a half and we'll see them in 2023. I don't know. It's Nintendo. They do whatever they want. You know, maybe I'm hoping that if they do direct the next part of the year, that it is dedicated to the Legend of Zelda. Just all, all Legend of Zelda, all everything. Please. Some detailed Breath of the Wild news. And Would be maybe, nice. yeah. Like, maybe that's why they were kind of like, Mom, I'm like, oh, yeah, Breath of the Wild still happening. It's coming. Okay, next thing. Yeah. <laughs> Skyward <Skyward's laughs> Because they they're saving that news um, for maybe a huge direct or I hope so. I I feel like it's not like Nintendo to have nothing to show. It's at this yeah. point. Yeah, they're holding back. I'm hoping. Anyways, I'm gonna keep hoping um, as we wrap up this episode. It was a good one. We had a lot to discuss, a lot to catch up on. Thank you, uh, Steve, Malik, and Caboose. Before we go, what's new with you, Malik? What new articles can we expect? So one article, I actually have two articles coming up on the site. Uh, I got an advanced Valheim uh, building gate. Uh, oh, I can't heard a lot about today. Valheim. Valheim, I've been obsessed with it, man. It's such a good game. Uh, mm -hmm. And then kind of off the back of me playing Valheim, I got another article where we're talking about does the AAA title even matter anymore? Ooh. We got games like Ooh, Fall Guys, spicy. Among Us, Valheim, yeah. uh, performing games like Call of Duty, Cyberpunk, you know, the list goes on. Yeah. Uh, well, on top of that, I'm streaming now, uh, live, nice. Malik. Can they yeah. find your stream app? Yeah, Say that uh, again? Sorry, I missed that. 
No, you're good. It's live W Malik. So like live with Malik, just uh, yeah. abbreviated. Um, cool. I'm going to be playing Valheim Valorant, uh, talking about all sorts of gaming news. I'm going to be breaking down uh, the Overwatch 2 news a little bit more in depth on my channel. So yeah, make sure to go drop me a follow. Awesome. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks. And Steve, do you have some new stuff coming to the website as well? I do. Uh, actually, just, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes ago, a uh, preview piece on the Watch Dogs Legion online mode went up. That's going to be oh. uh, releasing on March 9th. So I got like a little recap of just going over everything that's available there. I went, uh, did a hands-on preview like a while ago, but uh, now the news is finally out. So I get to talk about it. And then, yeah, Camille, you kind of talked about it earlier, but the season two uh, Black Ops Cold War uh content drop is coming out later yeah. this week so i'm very looking forward to it and hope uh to get some good content out for it i, I don't know what to really expect but something's coming ship's no, coming a storm is brewing with a yep. random boat um <laughs> <laughs> of course you can check out malik and steve's articles at yep. squadstate.com caboose obviously you got mortal Kombat on your mind but what else can we expect from you yeah, I'm no longer waiting for the trailer. Uh, it's out. So now I'm just kind of pivoting my excitement to the release of the film in April. Still doing some streaming. Got some really fun plans for uh, my Mortal Kombat tournament, which I did wrap up an incredible finale with a prize pool of over $5,000 in awesome. part, largely due to the community donating, which was incredible. Um, but we got some more plans with that, which we're really excited about still doing the YouTube thing, still doing the Twitch thing, youtube.com slash caboose, twitch.tv slash caboose. And you can check out all my shenanigans on my socials, Twitter and Instagram at caboose EK. Awesome. I down. just, yeah, he's got it down. You, I can tell he's <laughs> at the end of all his videos. <laughs> like, <stop. laughs> Thank you for subscribing and hit that like button. Um, exactly. <laughs> I just wrapped up a very Mario trivia experience, which was a trivia event with Nintendo, which was lots of fun. I got something else planned coming up and mm. um, something for Women's Day as well in celebration. So you should just stay tuned at This Is Camco on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. And maybe I'll start streaming soon. I don't know. Maybe. Cool. <laughs> but in the meantime, you can find me and the crew here every Monday. Um, at I'm like, what time do we start this? At 3 p.m. Eastern, yes. and we end usually around 4:30 p.m. And you could join us for all the geekiness and dirtiness and predictions because I was right about the me stuff, uh, right here as well as on our socials at Squad State. Thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good one. <laughs>